and Juneteenth, you think about it, and listen, we have, and this is how, this is what's amazing about America and progress, whether you agree with it, disagree with it, don't think it's true, think it's true, doesn't matter, this is what is fact, is that we have been progressing, not fast enough, for sure, but there is progress happening as old white people die off, it's just inevitable, with the progress that has been created in America today, this Juneteenth thing has become, over the course of the last six to eight years, it's become in the it's become in the in the in the memory bank or in the knowledge bank of white folks like me. I didn't know anything about Juneteenth until eight years ago. No, you, you know the iPhone calendar shows you holidays. I remember a year back, I was scrolling through it for no reason, and I passed. Juneteenth. And I was like, the fuck is Juneteenth? So I looked it up and it was this whole story about Texas and how they didn't want to give it up right away because they wanted to have another harvest season with their slaves before they ended the slavery. I mean, in Tulsa, that there's deep rooted anger and, and frustration of that racist history in Tulsa. And I think it just it's fitting that now it's finally getting put on a bigger pedestal. Right? So here's the deal, man. If you're not into Juneteenth, that is a real red flag for you. For you. Yeah. Whoever you are, if you're living in the world and you're like, this Juneteenth thing is stupid, this shouldn't be a national holiday, if you're thinking that in your head, yeah. there's something going on with you. you got to figure that out. That is that is more racist than the, 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 than the institutional racism that I am covered with, right, as an older white man. If you're like, this Juneteenth thing is stupid, not a good idea – that bing 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 you need to go and get a book and tell a friend or get a therapist and and say what well, well, I need to get to the bottom of why I think Juneteenth is a bad idea for a national holiday because it's something that needs to be recognized immediately I mean we have got to start to move faster and progress faster and we have tailwinds at the moment and we have more white people than ever on board to push this shit forward faster. And Juneteenth needs to be recognized immediately. As a na- if, if for only one other way to, to recognize and say, yo, our history as America is deeply stained and brutally ro- ruthless in regards to black people. And we've got to start to at least make it known through the silliness of holidays and this, that, or the other, that we're in a different mode or we're thinking different or we're trying to chart a different path for black people or people of color in America. So it's just an easy thing to do, too, is it not? Yeah, petition is in the link in the Twitch. If you're listening, you just click that link. You can sign a petition, the Black Lives Matter petition, to make it a national holiday. All right, why ain't no Twitch, dude? We do the Twitch just as a bonus for people. We do a radio guy. So what? read the, where do they go? So this website is just simple, blacklivesmatter.com. Blacklivesmatter.com. You'll find a petition for Juneteenth. Correct. And this will inevitably, quickly, I would imagine... (laughs) Make this a reality, which is, by the way, when Juneteenth becomes a national holiday, and a lot, you know, there's some overwoke black folks that are like, yeah, this is exactly what the white people are going to focus on because this is the shit that doesn't really matter. You got those overwoke black folk out there. Okay. And I'm not into them. Okay. Not. But by creating Juneteenth as a national holiday, that means it starts to go into history books. That means that kids start to understand. It means there's education regarding why there is Juneteenth. Well, why is there Juneteenth? Well, Juneteenth exists because we systematically treated human beings like fucking property for the first 112 years we were in existence. And then over the course of the next 150 years, we did everything as a society to keep them down. That conversation on a national holiday will start to spread more qualitative information so that people can be raised not as institutionally racist as I was. When you make a national holiday, when Juneteenth becomes a national holiday, it also is now becoming the message, the story 
the information when you make it a national holiday institutionalizes it and brings it into the systemic nature of America. And so that's where we're really trying to fix shit in the institutions of government, in the systemic nature of our dealings. So Juneteenth becoming a national holiday, I believe, is not stupid and reverberates in a way that we don't ultimately understand right now and will in a generation when kids are just being taught through their institutions and systems that Juneteenth was the day where slaves were uh, recognized independent. Absolutely. Anyway.